Wood Carving Arts. Hey everyone, I'm here with Kaya's master carver, Mr. Patuk. Parala Rivsi, welcome to my wood shop. What can I do for you? Can you show us how to carve some projects out of wood? I would be happy to teach you. Koyana, thank you. I've sketched out some ideas in my notebook. Tap the arrows to see the other projects. Tap the notebook to start a project. A spoon, a handle for an ulu knife. A whistle. A bowl. Fine, come, let's get started. I'll show you how to carve a bowl. Draw an outline of your project on the wood with a grease pencil. What's a grease pencil? A grease pencil is a special kind of pencil made of wax for drawing on wood. Tap the arrow when you're ready for the next step. We did it! You drew the outline so neatly. It's time to choose the first carving tool for this project. You'll need a gutter adz. What could you use to learn about the tools in my wood shop? I found a website about carving tools. We can use it to pick the right one. An adz is a carving tool used to cut a rough shape out of wood. Lip adz, gutter adz, straight adz. When I'm reading and I don't know what a word means, I look for clues in the words and pictures. The picture shows different adzes. Which tool looks like an adz? Yee, yes, that's the gutter adz. Use the gutter adz to create the basic shape of the bowl. Tap to chop off a chunk of wood. Did you know there's a baby adz? <laughs> Why is it called a baby adz? It makes much smaller cuts. The bigger the tool, the more wood you'll remove at once. Tap the arrow if you want me to finish this step. We're finished, Mr. Batuk. Yoy! Wow, you worked hard! Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a curved gouge. Let's read about it on the website. Use a curved gouge to scoop out the interior of a spoon or bowl. Choose a different tool for carving the outside. Interior must mean inside. Which tool could scoop out the interior of the wood? E yes, that's the curved gouge. Use the curved gouge to carve out the inside of the bowl. What kind of wood is this? The wood we're using comes from an alder tree. It doesn't grow very big, so it's perfect for smaller projects. How does this look? Nice! You carved out the wood so well! Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a hook knife. Let's read about it on the website. The hook knife's shape is great for carving a concave shape, like the inside of a bowl or spoon. Concave must mean the inside part of a spoon or bowl. Which tool could carve out the concave part? Eee, yes, that's the hook knife. Use the hook knife to finish the inside of the bowl. Drag the tool across the wood to shave off the rough spots. Why do we need to wear gloves while we're carving? We wear special cut-resistant gloves to protect ourselves when working with sharp knives. Dovra, all done! Yoy! Wow, you worked hard! Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a scraper. Let's read about it on the website. Many carvers choose a flat metal scraper to smooth wood because it's not disposable. They can use it again and again. Disposable must mean it's made to be thrown away. Which tool is not disposable? Eee, yes, that's the scraper. Use the scraper to smooth out your bowl. Drag the tool across the wood. Do you always use a scraper on your carving projects? Sometimes I don't, and keep the rough texture of the wood to give it a different look. We did it! 
minutes. Nice! You smoothed out the wood so well. Add walnut oil to stain and seal your bowl. Drag the brush across the wood. Does the oil make it taste like walnuts? <laughs> now me, no. The oil helps bring out the beautiful grain or patterns in the wood and makes it safe for us to eat with. We're finished, Mr. Batuk. The oil finish looks amazing. We made a bowl. In the past, bowls like this one were used to carry food to our ancestors. Masicho. Thank you for your help. Tap the arrow when you're ready to start a new carving. Kika, let's make another project. Make your own relief carving. A spoon. Make your own relief carving. Ah, relief carving. I'll teach you the art of carving a picture into wood. A relief carving is created by carving a design into a flat piece of wood. They were often used to illustrate the history of a family or home. But you can carve whatever you'd like. Here are your tools. But you need to find one more before you can start carving. Time to choose your last tool for relief carving. You'll need a V-gouge. Let's read about it on the website. A V-gouge is used for carving grooves or deep lines in wood. Grooves must mean deep lines. Which tool could carve grooves? E, yes, that's the V-gouge. We have all the tools we need. Pick a tool to start carving. Different tools will carve different sized lines. Try it out. V gouge. Wow! The wood becomes a lighter color as you carve deeper into it. If you want to get rid of all the wood shavings, tap the broom button. When you're all done with your carving, tap the check mark. We made a relief carving. This is one of the ways carvers can create a piece of art. Masicho. Thank you for your help. Tap the arrow when you're ready to start a new carving.